How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This, this, in this video, we're taking out the M26, and I actually don't know how to. I, I thought it was Ariet, or I, I thought I don't know. I'm probably butchering that, but uh, that's what I'm taking out. It's a premium Pershing. I bought this and I bought the Leoncello, and I already did the Leoncello video. Now it's time for this one, and I love Pershing, so it's it's just it's, it's only a matter of time. And this is the best looking Pershing in the game, in my opinion. I love the fact that it's missing the side guard things. I wish War Thunder made, would make that an option that you could remove the guards. Like on Panthers and stuff, like the shirts in and everything, it, it'd be so much nicer. But anyway, so that's this is what we're taking out. Um, I don't think I've done a Pershing. It's basically the same as a patent, but I haven't done a Pershing video, so we'll just go over it real quick here. 101.6 front at 46 degrees, not great. Thicker here, but still not great. I'm having about 6.3 with you first. It's not good. Uh, mantlet is 114, but there's another, there's an extra layer in there behind there in the corners, so it's it's a little bit thicker than that not great so your armor is lacking so you're thinking okay what, what's the good it's got a good gun right no okay it's gun is it's 165 at 6.3 is pretty bad it's got apcr but who the hell uses that um so you don't have a gun um then you think okay mobility well it's got a 25 mile an hour top speed but it doesn't ever get there because it's got 500 horsepower because it's got a stupid ford power engine and ford suck um so yeah it, it my biggest i don't know why this thing's a six point uh, 6.3. I mean, I think this is like a 5.7. You have similar armor to a Tiger 1. You're not as mobile as a Tiger 1, and you have the same gun as a Tiger 1. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's, uh, it, that, you, it's beyond me why this thing's a 6.3. Um, then you got like the T25 American is 5.7, and it's got a lot less armor than a Tiger 1. Same gun as a Tiger 1, and the same mobility is still probably worse than Tiger 1's mobility. And yet it's the same battery, so it's weird. And then because or, but you're you're comparing a heavy tank to a medium tank. Well, yes, I'm comparing a heavy tank to medium tank because this thing moves like a heavy tank. This thing, comparing this thing to like a T44 to 6.3, this thing's way slower, well, slightly better gun, and way still way less armor, and it's the same battery. So you take your pick. This thing is at for every this thing versus every other 6.3 in the game. It sucks. This thing's versus the Lorraine 40T. Lorraine 40T, okay, is the only thing. A lot less armor. A lot better gun, a lot better reload rate, a lot more, lot faster, a lot better maneuverability, a lot better. It's got everything better right for it. And that, but that one's at a 6.3. All right. America, they don't like the Americans. And now, since the American or the Italian tech tree is probably going to be made up primarily of captured vehicles or used vehicles, lend lease vehicles, there's probably going to be a lot of Americans in it when they get come out and Germans like that. They're, they're just, they're, you're going to be screwed. So, that's that. Um,. It's 16.8 turret rotation, 11.1 .1 reload rate, negative 10 depression. That's not much to say about it. That's that's kind of it. So I guess I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Here we are in Japan. Oh, I haven't got this map in like forever. In case you don't know me, that was sarcasm. This is the SDA-1. He's booking it. SDA-1 is actually a decently, it's a decent tank. I need to get heat for the SDA too to make for my, make my assumption on that one. I'm assuming it's better. It's the same battering with more armor. I, again, that one. I'll give you start in the SDA one, SDA two debacle. That's the whole. One has this exact same tank, other than one has more armor, but the exact same battering. So why are they the same battering? Okay, I got started on it. This is where the Pershing's slow. It's holding power because it's got no torque. Okay, go, sir, can you go away? You're kind of loud. Everybody's all like, oh, it's got 500 horsepower. It's kind of low. Yeah, it doesn't, horsepower doesn't matter, though. Horsepower is not what moves a, a tank or a, any anything. Horsepower is just a number that gets people's attention. It's torque is what you're looking for. I'm the hill. Conk? Where are they, is it against Conks in here? Where is there a Conk? Forgot about getting out tiered in this thing. Don't know why, how I forgot about that, but I did. Um, 
top of the hill. I don't see anybody. The conk is right here. On top of the hill, help. I helped, I got the conk. Oh, I see you down there, little T-92. T-114. Enemy point. Okay, that's two quickly. Two heavy hitters, too. I mean, one's really little, but that reload, man, he could screw a lot of people up. Was that two shots by the conk? The conk put in that? Find out this guy. Narfin. Okay. Let him move up, do something. I'm not moving up. I'm gonna die if I move up. I always do this. Attention to the map. Attention to the map, okay, so there's there's people everywhere. Yes, we know. Attention to the map. Narvin's just killing everything down there, but I don't see He's behind that bump or something right here. Need him to move. Sounds are delayed. It's that tiger core from hearing, but it's like hitting me like way late. Okay, everybody's dying around me. It's the Carvin. Narvin down. Okay, moving on. Where's that scent? Mark 10. We, we need to move. We pissed a lot of people off and they're going to know where we are now. So. Where is it? I hear there's planes. I'm scared. I'm just, I just freeze up when I hear planes. I hate them. Not fair. A little more effort and victory will be yours. There's nobody near C. Because there's a heavier on the left up here. Hello? Allied forces have captured a zone. T-32, okay, that's a, that's one hell of a heavy. That's, oh, and he's dead. That would have been a cool shot. Well, I mean, it's just a lobbing shot, kind of, a little bit bump, but. I'm hearing 50 cal. This thing's turret speed is what really helps it a lot. That's its major strong point. And what's weak points though is the fact that it's got elevation speed is slow. Left. We're going in. We just need one more. Tank destroyer. Please don't be a doom turtle. It's probably going to be a doom turtle. It's, why is it still at spawn? It's, 
the only reason why I can think why it's, you know, that's spawn still. No, I'm not gonna have depression. Yes. 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 Rampage. And Dobby's dead. My heart is just racing right now, though. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. New favorite tank in the game. Long repair though. Eh, not really long, but... Well, that's gonna do it for the M26 Ariat. I, I still hope... I'm still probably pronouncing that wrong. It's Ariette or... I don't, it's Italian is odd, and I don't, I'm, I'm American. I butcher things. I'm sorry, it's who I am. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if uh, you don't want to miss any future videos, please hit that subscribe button and bell notification button. Uh, this tank is very, very, very fun. I love this thing. It's like, I don't know. I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna be playing primarily when I grind out the Italian tree when it comes through. And I can't wait now. Now I want it so badly. Hopefully 1.79, although it's not looking like it. Probably gonna have to wait more. It sucks. Anyways, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.